Well, I'm going to be brutally frank, and I have never read such act, um, but it's always referred to as, you know, kind of one of those keystone moments in Indian history. I don't know how many actual Indian folks knew it was happening. They are the faces of indigenous people living in western Montana hundreds of years ago. Many may not have lived to see the day when they were granted U.S. citizenship in 1924. We'll never know what they might have thought about it. That's left up to their ancestors. Is it uh, something I, I like? Well, I have pros and cons. CSKT Tribal Chairman Michael Dolson. Definitely gives us the, the rights, at least on the paper, to all the rights that a citizen has in the United States. And so voting being one of the big things. Definitely traveling throughout the United States uh, unimpeded. Uh, there was a time when we couldn't leave the reservation. I'm hoping those days are gone. Kind of conflicting in terms of uh, opening the door to a sovereignty besides our own sovereignty. And so a dual citizenship. Dolson told me this Indian Citizenship Act is a law, and like any law, he worries, it's subject to change. So the 100th anniversary of its passage might be a time of reflection rather than celebration. People talk about civil rights, talk, people talk about Indian rights. Are they exactly the same? Well, civil rights were actually looking at having the rights that citizens have. And so, yeah, Indian people wanted that, but Indian rights, we're always asking, can't you just leave us alone? Let us do our thing in our place. A place that has seen so many changes. Changes even Chief Charlo predicted more than 100 years ago. You know, the 1920s, I look at that as in this last 100 years, you think about what history has meant to just this tribe here. It's the most profound century for us because it was really the shift away from tradition to the way we are now as a people and certainly as a tribe. With support from the ACLU and other groups, the push for more fair and equal access at the ballot box for Native Americans continues across the country and here in Montana. And with inspiration from their elders, tribal leaders today are not looking back. And I think that's what our tribes exhibit always, is that forward-looking view and it's to preserve a future for those that are not yet here. We have to go forward, you know, learn from what has happened and do the best that we can. In Pablo, Jill Valley, MTN News.